What we do know is this. The Seahawks have the fifth pick and the 20th pick overall in the upcoming draft, which is just eight days away. And we're obviously live here at Seahawk headquarters. We just heard from Pete and John just talking about, you know, the pre-draft press conference. And I started out with that kind of, yeah, no duh, because really they know what, you know, who they're going to draft possibly because the draft will move and whatnot. But let's just go to the video. Here's what John and Pete had to say kind of about, you know, what the next seven days look like, who they're, you know, what kind of player, what the process is. And if you're looking for them to tell you in this video or for me to tell you who they're going to draft, ain't happening. They just, they're holding their cards close and all teams are. And open. now comes kind of the uh, gamesmanship in terms of they have an idea. All the, most of the visits are done. And you, let's hear from John and Pete kind of what the next seven, eight day process is for the upcoming. Josh and Pete and I have been doing together or are doing together. Uh, really excited about it. Uh, a lot of thank yous, uh, first and foremost. Uh, we want to thank Jody Allen for giving us the resources uh, this spring to travel all around and, and uh, do our work, uh, get a lot of things accomplished. And um, obviously the personnel guys, personnel staff, the scouts, all the way through the fall, all last summer, you know, uh, away from their families, uh, up late at night, uh, typing reports, taking people out for coffees and, and uh, trying to, you know, use all their resources to figure these guys out, these, all these prospects out. Uh, the coaches jumping in after the season, and everybody's very excited about the fifth pick. So we have a lot of general managers in this building right now and head coaches are exciting. You know, I think there's, there's so much more, uh, you know, res uh, like research that goes into it. You know, last year, obviously picking, you know, where we picked, but uh, there's, there's levels all throughout this, you know, all throughout every round. And obviously in the first round, there's, there's, there's specific levels every year. You have to evaluate the classes. So, and every class is completely different. So, uh, you know, being up there with a the fifth pick, I think is, is uh, it's just really exciting. And you, you have way more uh, coverage and accessibility to uh, all the prospects. Yeah, you know, it, it obviously everybody's, you know, focused on five and rightfully so. Uh, but, you know, the 20th pick is extremely important, you know, as is 37. And, you know, I mean, it's, so you're you're constantly trying to uh, paint pictures and scenarios of you know what you think will uh, happen and what other teams will you know do what we're getting into we're just we finished yesterday with the with the uh, scouts going back over the board like the, you know through the their spring um, and how everybody performed in the spring and so now we're getting into uh, uh, we'll have the coaches in this weekend and then you know we'll get into heavy, heavy uh, scenarios, uh, you know, talking to other teams, uh, speaking with agents, and uh, trying to figure out uh, um, how and where we can acquire these these uh, these guys. You know, I think it's exciting about this one is that, <clears throat> you know, you get the, the first challenge coming up at 5, and then we got a whole other one at 20, and then day two, we come right back again, you know, and th those those three big events of those early picks, kinda, yeah. it, it kind of comes back <clears throat> at us in a hurry. Uh, makes it really fun and, and a challenge and, and uh, a lot of scenarios I and mean, more so than normal. It keeps us just active and functioning and having fun doing it, you know. So it's it's the whole thing's pretty cool. We get, we don't we know nothing though. <laughs> it feels yeah. like we don't feel like we know five anything. five in the top eighty three is pretty. That's that's probably the one. <clears throat> that's the one thing that really you know stands out. Okay, you know we 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 we're getting a pretty good feel for what it looks like and now how do we go execute our game plan? I think. You know, my primary job is to evaluate the evaluators, and that's myself. Uh, you know, uh, Pete, our, our coordinators, the coaches, our scouts. Uh, you know, our our docs. You know, our the trainings. How everybody how everybody feels about them, and to bring that bring that world together, and then come up with what is the fit, what's the plan. You know, for the for the for the prospect, and how can we, uh, you know, how can we help them have a have a incredible career, and, and you know. Yeah, I mean, how, how do we how do we help them help themselves in order to help us be world champions? Well, there you heard it from John and Pete. Just really more of an overview and inside a process of what is it that they do as they lead up to the draft, as in terms of who they'll pick. As I said at the you know at the beginning, and I'll say it at the end, no one really knows, and 
sure, there's mock drafts and everything else. You know, odds on favor of Jalen Carter. But, you know, you really just never know what happens. But what you do know and what you now know from what we showed you is just kind of the process. Their evaluation inside that room to a certain uh, extent. 